Good day, everyone. This is following up from an end class exercise going over the mean and median for a data set I pulled from the census quick facts for Little Rock, Fort Smith, Springdale, Rogers, Bitville, and Fayetteville here in Arkansas. Keep in mind, these are the population estimates of 2019. For some of you, you might have seen in the news the 2020, not crime, uh, the 2020 population census information is coming out. So these are, for many of them, much lower than the actual 2020 census counts. With that, this was an assignment we did in class, kind of walk through how to do the mean and median. Keep in mind, we also touch on mode as a measure of central tendency, but for this data set, it wasn't nearly as important. For those of you in the class, this truly came from, I just copy and pasted from the in-class exercise itself. Here, I have a calculator pulled up on my desktop and not on this screen. So I'm gonna put or show the formula and then I'm gonna calculate it and kind of update it as we go from there. So if we start here with population, oop, that is way too large. There we go. So now we have pop. And what we wanna do is find the mean of pop, which means the population. We wanna add all of the city's populations together, divide by our sample size, which is six here. We have six cities. And that will give, our, give us our average population estimate across these cities. So with that, we have 197.312 plus 87.891 plus 81.125 plus 68.669 plus 54.909 plus the favor one of 87.590. And keep in mind, we want to do this part first, and then we'll end up dividing by our sample size here, which is six cities. So I'm going to put that in the calculator that you can't see. It's off screen, but it's 197, 312, plus 87, 891, plus 81, 125, plus 68669, plus 54909, and 87, 590, which would give us 577, 496, divided by 6. So that's the numerator, all the city's populations added together. And then now we would divide that by 6 to get our average, which gives us 96,249. Now keep in mind, if you're doing this by hand, putting it in a calculator, it increases the chances of human error. You might have put it in a calculator wrong. You might have just... Uh, transpose a couple numbers. A lot of things could have happened. An easy way to double check, and I say to do this when you have assignments that are asking you to do it by hand, also put the data in Excel to see if you're getting the same answer. So if I come back to the spreadsheet, and say I didn't have that highlighted, if I highlighted just these cells here, you can see down here where it has average, it gives us 96,249. So it's already calculating the mean for us. We don't have to put in the formula that we've gone over in class. It does it for us here. We know our sum, so that'd be our numerator. Divide by six, our denominator sample size, gives us our average of 96,249. With that, some of you might wonder, well, that seems a bit high, and it is given what we have below. There's only one city that has a higher one, and that's Little Rock, and it's pointing out. So keep in mind, this is where we discussed outliers in this situation little rock has over double the population of the next highest city of fort smith so that's something to be aware of when we're thinking about potential skewness of our data later in the semester all right so we have that i'm going to erase this now just because we have not as much room but if i erase and let's come back and we're now going to do our percent white population and keep in mind these are real numbers that i pulled from the census quick facts so if you're surprised by some of these numbers, this is actually what they look like across different social measures. But now we wanna do, oh, that's large again. I don't know why it's being that way. But all right, percent white. Again, we're gonna add up all the percentages here. So our numerator is gonna be 50.3 plus 64.5, plus 62.6, plus 89, 
plus 78.5, plus 79.7. That's all still going to be over 6, given that our sample size is not changing. We still have the same 6 cities. So I'm going to add this up again off screen. And keep in mind, it's the 6 different cities. So 50.3 plus 64.5 plus 62.6 plus 89 plus 78.5 plus 79.7 gives us 424.6 divided by 6. We still have to do our average part. And keep in mind, if we're looking at these numbers in percent white, we have quite a bit of variation where Little Rock's about half and half when it comes to percent white population. And then if we move to Rogers, which is just north of Fayetteville, it's about 89% white only population which is something to think about diversity when you look at across Arkansas, what it looks like outside of our, some of our bigger cities or larger for Arkansas's sake. Now, if we divide our 424.6 divided by 6, we get our average percent white population across these cities is 70.76 7, repeating, so we'll just do that. About 71% of the population are white for, across these six cities. Keep in mind, always double check, and I always say this because human error is likely to occur, and that's where if you're, if I'm asking you to do it by hand, show your work. So if I see that there's a mistake, I can give partial credit before just seeing an answer of say the 70.77 and not knowing how you got there can create some issues. So again, I still have my pointer selected. So I just change and highlight these six cells. 424.6 divided by six gives us our 70.77%. So we're good to go there. We know we got that one right, so let's keep moving forward. I'm going to clear off this one again. There we go. All right, let's change the color again. Now we want to look at percent. I don't know why it keeps reverting back to a larger one. Foreign born. Same way, like we did population and percent white. For this, we want to now add 7.7 .7 plus 12, oops, sorry about that, 12.4 plus 23.4 plus 20.7, 15.5, and 6.8. Again, numerator is still 6, so I can even put that off to the side. That are in is going to be six for all of these, so we're good to go there. And now again, I'm going to add these up off screen. So we have 7.7 plus 12.4, 23.4, 20.7, 15.5, gives us our numerator, which we have 86.5 divided by six, our sample again which gives us an average then of 14.42 once we round, would be across these six city, cities, the average percent foreign born is 14.42%. Again, let's double check in our Excel sheet. Highlight those cells now, 86.5 divided by six gives us our 14.42. So we're good to go there and let's move forward with it. We'll move on to percent owner occupied housing. So this looks typically at residential stability. How invested are people in the community the longer they've lived there? Typically, trust in neighbors, satisfaction, social control. A lot of these measures stem from that based on that notion of the longer you're in a community, the more invested you are, the more likely you are to agree on social norms. All right, so percent owner occupied, and this comes down to households. So I'm just going to put percent owner. And again, for our numerator, it's going to be 55.3 plus 50.6 plus 49.5 plus 57.7. And then 54, let me just click. There we go. 54.2 plus 36.6. 
Now you might wonder why Fayetteville is so low on that. Keep in mind Fayetteville is where University of Arkansas is located. So we have a high student population. And the newest census estimates are population is around, I think, 93,000 now. So the second largest city in Arkansas. But we have a student population based on enrollment numbers that are still not finalized of this year of 2021 fall around 29,000 students. So we're seeing an uptick. The last go around it was about 27.5. So we saw about a 1500 increase in students. So we continue to have a high and growing student population. That makes sense when we look at percent owner occupied. So we have a lot of rentals. With that, our denominator for our mean again is gonna be six. With that, that's still our sample size there. So I'm going to do this off screen again. So we have 55.3 plus 50.6 plus 49.5 plus 57.7 plus 54.2 plus 36.6 gives us 303.9 divided by 6 now would give us an average percent ownership occupied households across these six cities of 50.65%. Again, going to double check this since we already have the same table. I just did a screenshot into a, this whiteboard. Come over, grab these, highlight it. 303.9 is our numerator. Our denominator is still six. And our average, our mean there is gonna be 50.65. We're good to go. So we, now we have that correct. Let's erase this one. go and change up the color again make sure that's right all right now we're going to look at household income median household income so what's the average medium household income across these six cities so i'm just going to put household income so our numerator is going to be 51 oops, put that in brackets or parentheses 485 Plus 41, 724, 53, 43, 61, 551, plus 80. I actually have to move it for this one, 392. And then our last one, 43, 690 oh, of Fayetteville. Again, still over our denominator of six. Zoom out a little just so we can see it all. And this is where it's important to realize we have larger numbers, obviously five characters at this point. But if, if you imagine we did all cities across Arkansas, these are only six. So the chance of making human error, trying to change a number, writing it down wrong, putting in the calculator wrong does increase. And that's why it's important to double check, but also why we have softwares and programs now to assist us in these endeavors. All right, but let's add these up. So we got 51, 4, 8, 5 plus 41, 7, 2, 4, 50, 3, or 3, 4, 3, 61, 5, 5, 1, 80, 3, 9, 2, and 43, 6, 9, 0. So we have 329 divided by 6 now gives us an average median household income for these six cities of 5486417. So that gives you your average median household income across three different cities or six different cities, three being in the north or four being in the northwest, Springdale, Rogers, Bentonville, and Fayetteville. Fort Smith is just south of Fayetteville and then Little Rock is central Arkansas. So it kind of stuck to the cities I'm aware of, some of the bigger ones that are known in Arkansas itself. Again, let's double check our work here. I'm gonna come over and highlight just these cells now. 39 or 329, 185. Oops, let's say the same. So we have that divided by six, gives us our 54,864. So we're good to go there. And now let's finish off the mean calculations with our percent of persons in poverty. There we are. I'll zoom back in a little. 
All right, double check to make sure that's right again. Good to go. So percent poverty now. And that's percent persons living below the poverty line. So here we want to know the average across these six cities. So we have 16.6 plus 21 plus 17.6 plus 10.5, 7.6. And oops, let me erase that. 22.9 divided by 6. Again, same number of cities. So our denominator here is constant. It is always 6. So let's add these together. 16.6, 21 plus 17.6, 10.5, 17.6, and 22.9. Ooh, I did that wrong. Let me come back. It should have been 7.6. So that's 16.6 .6, 21 plus 17.6 plus 10.5 plus 7.6, get that one right, 22.9 equals 96.2 over 6. And that's why I say we're bound to make errors, and that's why if you don't catch it, double check your work, and it helps that way. So now we divide by our denominator of 6. It gives us our average percent persons in poverty at the, across these six cities being 16.03%. Let's double check our work now. Highlight these over here in Excel, 96.2 divided by 6 gives us our 16.03. So we're good to go there. Now we've done across these six measures our mean values across. So hopefully you have those down. You've done it with us. So now I'm going to come back and do the median across these. For the median we don't need to know other than it's an even number since we have our sample size of 6. I guess I can leave it up there because that might help some of you remember. For even numbers, we take our two middle values and then take the average of those divided by two. So if we start to rearrange our numbers for population, our lowest one is 54,909, and then 68,669, 81,125, and then 87, 5, 90. So now we see that our two middle values, so we have three and four, these two here, are gonna be our two middle values. And then it would follow by 87 of Fort Smith, 891, and then Little Rock of 197, 3, 1, 2. We wanna add these two together. So it'd be 81, oops, let me erase that. 125 plus 87, 590 divided by 2. So again, off screen, 81, 125 plus 87, 590 gives us 168, 715 divided by 2, which gives us our median value. So I'm going to just put that down here of 84. 357.5. So we know our population there, it, the median population, so half our 50% cutoff is our value here, the median with that. Now, since I have it in Excel, I could run this by using just equals median and then highlighting those cells. I don't have my mouse hooked up, I'm using the pen, but we've gone over that. So if you need a refresher on that, please let me know. But that's just another way you actually have to use the formula bar for that. All right, with that, let's move on to the next one. So erase all of this. And we're gonna use the same formula in terms of adding the two middle values and dividing by two across. So now we're doing our percent white. And here we would have our lowest would then be 6.8, 7.7, oh. I was looking at the wrong one. I was looking at foreign born. There we go. So our lowest value here is 62. Oh, I got it wrong again. And this is why it matters to pay attention. So it, our lowest value here is Little Rock with 50.3. And then we move to Springdale with 62.6. Fort Smith was 64.5. And then we move to Bentonville that has 78.5. 
Again, we could put our last two in here, Fayetteville and Rogers, but since we have our two middle values, we could add these together of 64.5 plus 78.5, and then divide by two. So again, we're wanting our median value here. So if we do 64.5 plus 78.5, we get 143. So it'd be 143 divided by two, gives us 71.7 .7 would be our medium percent white value. So our 50% cutoff, half below, half above. Later in the semester, we'll go over the median median in relation to the distribution and where they fall in terms of this could be an identifier of positive or negative skew. But for now, let's just go over the values until we get to the skewness part to it. All right, so we have our median value for percent white. Let's move on to percent foreign born. All right, percent foreign born. So our lowest value is 6.8 of Fayetteville, 7.7 .7 in Little Rock, 12.4 for Fort Smith, and then Bentonville has 15.5. Again, these are our two middle values, our three and four. So we wanna add those together. So we have 12.4 plus 15.5. And then we divide by two since we have an even number here. So 12.4 plus 15.5 gives us 27.9 divided by two, which again, our median then would be 13.95% foreign born, would be our 50th percentile cutoff. Typically we would hope to see half our cases above, half our cases below. And let's keep chugging along since we now have that one done. Let's move on to percent households that are owner occupied. And keep in mind, if you're wondering where I got this data from, if you just Google census quick facts, it allows you to type in city names with along with their state. And you can grab a lot of the population characteristics. And that's all I did was take those numbers, put it in a spreadsheet and use for these examples. All right, so now we're on to percent owner. Starting from the lowest, we have Fayetteville of 36.6. And then we have Springdale at 49.5. And then Fort Smith at 50.6. So we know this is one of our values. And then we move to Bentonville at 54.2. So these are our two values in the middle that we want to take the average of. So again, 50.6 plus 54.2. Divide that by two since we just want the average of these two. So that's gonna give us 104.8 divide by two. And again, this is gonna be our median value. It's going to be 52.4. And I'm gonna double check, because I did that in my head real quick, 50.6 plus 54.2, 104.8 divided by two, 52.4. So here we know our median percentile, our 50% point, our median value is 52.4% of owner-occupied housing for these six cities, our subsample, our sample of all cities in Arkansas. So we can move on now to our household income. So the median of the median household income. So we're looking at cities across. Those numbers come from ACS census for us. All right, there we go. So household income. Starting with our lowest value in Fort Smith, we have 41,724. And then we move to Springdale of 50, oh, nope, come back. We move to Fayetteville, Fayetteville of 43,690. And then we move to Springdale of 53,43. So that's gonna be one of our middle ones. And then we see that Little Rock's at 51,485. So these are our two middle ones. So we're gonna add them together for our numerator.
then we're going to divide by 2 to get the average of those. So we have 5343 3 plus 51485 gives us 101,828 divided by 2. We have our median value here of 50,914. There we go. So now we know our, our median value, our 50% cutoff point within these six cities for median household income is $50,914. That's where half our sample should fall above and half should fall below, our 50th percentile point. All right, and now let's move on to our last one from our in-class exercise with it. Again, if there's questions with this, please reach out to me and let me know can always make additional videos with this. So percent poverty. And we're rearranging from smallest to largest. So we have 7.6 down in or up in Bentonville, 10.5 in Rogers, 16.6 in Little Rock. So that's one of ours. And then we have 17.6 in Springdale. Again, these are our, our two middle ones. It's our three and four values. So if we had five and six, these would be our six cities. We need these two to average across. So we're taking our 16.6 plus 17.6 and divide by two there. 16.6 plus 17.6, 34.2. Divide by two, then we get a median 50th percentile of, oh, what would that be, 18.1, oh, 17.1, 17.1. So we would know our 50th percentile for persons living in poverty, percent of people across these six cities would be 17.1, our median value. So 50% would fall above, 50% would fall below. With that, this was a lot of, this were, these were a lot of calculations in terms of multiple variables doing the mean and median get used to this do exercises these there's other videos that i have on youtube i connect this one to it i've posted additional ones on blackboard from the last time i taught this course if you have questions please reach out to me let me know if not enjoy